Beach vocabulary. British beaches are the perfect place to spend a day with family, if you can find a day when it's not raining. Here's a range of vocabulary you can use to talk about the beach. Seaside. When the weather is good, lots of people head to the seaside. The seaside is used to describe the area by the sea. It may include the beach, a promenade or pier, and other tourist attractions. Towns that are by the seashore can be called seaside towns. Coast. The coast is the area where the land meets the sea. The coast may consist of beaches, cliffs, harbours and any other places on the shore. Similar to seaside, areas including villages and towns may be considered coastal as well as the space immediately next to the sea. Shore the shore is the land right next to the sea or another large body of water, such as a lake or big river. If someone is on shore, this means they are on land rather than on a boat or ship. Dunes Some British beaches have large, sandy dunes separating the shore from the main part of the land. These are large piles or hills made of sand. The sand in dunes is usually soft and dry. They are created by the strong winds by the sea. Pebbled beach As well as sandy beaches in the UK, there are also pebbled beaches. Pebbled beaches are covered with larger stones and rocks called pebbles. This is instead of, or as well as, sand. Pebbles on beaches are sometimes smooth because they get worn away by the sea. Artificial beach Artificial means made by humans and is the opposite of natural. An artificial beach is a man-made space with sand and water for splashing. They are usually built in the summer in cities or areas which are not near the sea as a tourist attraction. These beaches are often like a giant sand pit and paddling pool. Some artificial beaches are permanent and these are often attached to a lake or pond. Promenade A promenade is a paved area along the seafront for walking. They often run parallel to a beach in tourist areas. Sticking to the promenade is great if you want to walk by the sea, but don't want to get covered in sand. Tide Tides are the pattern in which the sea level increases and decreases roughly twice a day. At low tide, more of the beach is exposed as the water level is lower. At high tide, the beach becomes smaller or may disappear altogether. Breeze a breeze is a gentle or pleasant wind which can be warm or cold. Because winds are higher at sea, a strong breeze is common in coastal areas. Sunset As day turns to night, a beautiful sunset can be watched from many beaches. Many consider watching the changing oranges, reds and purples in the sky to be very romantic. Sunset refers to both the time that daylight ends and to the view of the sun moving below the horizon. 
Fish and Chips. Fish and chips is a traditional English meal to have by the sea. White fish is battered before being deep fried along with chips. Chips, made from strips of potato, are called fries in America. In the past, fish and chips were served in newspaper, but nowadays they come in greaseproof paper or a tray. Sunbathing Sunbathing means sitting or lying out in the sun. You can often find people sunbathing at the beach, by the pool, in a park, or even in their back garden. Some people sunbathe to get a tan, while others just enjoy soaking up the sun. Sun cream While the sun is enjoyable, it can also be dangerous. Sun cream is cream rubbed into the skin to protect it from damage from the sun's rays. It's important to remember to apply it regularly or else you may get sunburn. Sunburnt If you spend too long in the sun, you may get sunburnt. Sunburn occurs when rays from the sun burn the skin. When sunburn, the skin becomes red and very painful. Sometimes the skin will begin to peel away. Paddling Going paddling means splashing and playing in shallow water. You can paddle in water that goes no higher than your knees. It is great fun for those who aren't confident swimming in the sea, for children, and when it is too cold for a swim, which is most of the time in the UK. Take a dip. Taking a dip means swimming or spending time in the water. You can take a dip in the sea, but in Britain it's often more pleasant to take a dip in a heated swimming pool. Life jacket A life jacket is worn to help you float if you fall into water. They are usually worn when near or in water, such as on small boats. Often, life jackets are bright orange and filled with either air or foam. Lifeguard If you go to a large or popular beach, you may see lifeguards working. Lifeguards are trained to help keep people safe on the beach and in the water. If someone gets in trouble when swimming, the lifeguards will head into the sea to rescue them. Beach Volleyball Beach volleyball is a sport played on beaches. Two teams of players hit a ball over a net on a sand court. The aim is to hit the ball back to the other side of the net without it touching the ground. Bucket and Spade A bucket and spade are important tools for young visitors to the beach. A bucket is a cylinder-shaped container with an open top and handle used to move water and sand. A spade has a handle and a scoop and is used for digging. At the beach, they are used together to build sandcastles. Sandcastle If you visit the British seaside, you should definitely take a bucket and spade to make a sandcastle. Sandcastles are piles of sand made to look like castles usually made by children. Today, we've discussed essential beach vocabulary to use in everyday English conversations. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment 
and subscribe.